This snake is the smallest viper in Costa Rica. Hey, 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 finally we've seen some day snakes. So I'm gonna flip this camera around and show you this really rare snake. I haven't seen one in over two years and this is by far the smallest one I've seen. It's a small snake anyway. And it's the Perthidium parasi, which is the uh, hognose or the white-tailed hognose viper. Anyway, I'll flip the camera around. All right, this is in situ. I don't know if you can see it or not, but to give you an idea, if you look at the very end of my snake hook right there, you will see the Prothidium parasi. But this is a super baby, it's super small. Look at that guy. Indigenous only to this region, and we actually have quite a few on our property, and I'll link a few of the videos down in the description for you to take a look at. Really cool snake. I am not going to disturb it, of course, because I hate doing that. Perthidium parasi, one of the best snakes we've seen. This species was just described in 2003 by Louis Porras, shown here with a huge eastern diamondback rattlesnake. Literally the size of a half dollar. Kind of like a pygmy rattlesnake, but much smaller, much more uncommon. Somebody told me once that these are the second least common snakes on the entire Osa area, besides the black-headed Bushmaster. The cool thing about these snakes is look at that exceptional camouflage it has. Let me zoom in on it. According to the book, Reptiles of Costa Rica, these snakes only reach 14 to 20 inches as adults, making them the smallest snake in the country. Zoom out. One of the interesting things about these snakes is they have the proclivity to stay in one place for many, many days. So I'm gonna check on this the rest of the days of our trip and see if he's still here. Another reason I'm so excited to see this snake is that it's a young individual. We've really only seen adults. I've seen one other one that was a little bit bigger than this. But if you look closely, you can see that upturned snout, maybe right there. Look at that guy. Beautiful, beautiful snake. Anyway, so cool. Sorry I'm spending so much time with it, but you just don't see these snakes so often. They are extremely rare, extremely rare. This snake is perfectly ambushed for little lizards coming by. Well, it's two days after we found the little hognose viper on this stick uh, right there. I came up here yesterday to work on some cameras and this has all been disturbed right in here because we had a ton of rain and maybe something like a tamandu or something came by. So this morning I'm up here doing one last look for it and I found that little sucker. Again, it is so tiny. Look at that. That's it, the Porthidium parasi, the hognose viper. They just don't move around very much. I'm gonna get some close-ups for you. In situ, right there. I'm really excited to see this snake because we've had a very few snakes on this trip for whatever reason. Anyway, I guess we need to get on the road. We've accomplished the task for this hike this morning, which was to find this snake again. Check out that centipede and its mate crawling by. This is a much better place for this snake during the heavy rains. And you can see an idea for scale, maybe, maybe how tiny this snake is. It'll get to be about a foot and a half long eventually. If you learn anything new in this snake video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button for us, and that helps grow our channel. Thanks. Can't get any closer than this to Prothidium parasi. Super rare snake here. Glad I found it again. So cool. Really cool.